The highly anticipated release of Apex Legends Mobile is just around the corner. You probably already know it as the most popular battle royale hero shooter game on PC, and soon everyone will be able to play this game on MOBO. And I really want to thank EA for sponsoring this video. You may remember last month I did a poll on my channel asking which game you guys wanted to play, and as you can see more than 50% of down to top gamers voted for Apex Legends Mobile, which just goes to show how many of y'all are excited to play this game. And you know I'm a sucker for my gamers, what you want, Sammy delivers. So just for you, today I'm gonna give you my first impression on Apex Legends Mobile. Alright, ready? Let's dive in. It's prime time at the Apex Games! Let's go! Alright, so when I first started playing Apex Legends Mobile, I was immediately impressed by how smooth the gameplay is, not to mention how the graphics really complement it. Like, surprisingly good graphics. The gunplay feels fantastic, and honestly, it's just a lot of fun. Apex Legends Mobile was launched with three core modes. First is a very obvious one, Battle Royale Mode. On a very basic level, Apex Legends is like every other battle royale. You drop into massive maps with a bunch of enemies, the map gets smaller and smaller and it's kill or be killed until basically there's just one left standing. However, Apex Legends goes far beyond the basic battle royale game. First of all, the game is better with friends. And yeah, you can play the game solo and duo, but as a three-man squad, it's triple the fun. Basically, you get to help each other out by working as a team. This is made even easier by choosing legends that work well with each other, which brings us to our first big thing about this game. You have a choice between 10 different legends who all have fun and unique personalities and each has different abilities and an ultimate. Some legends are better for rushing in and securing the kill, while others are better for protecting teammates and others provide healing or even mobility to the team. There are a bunch of ways to combine these guys, so you're gonna want to find the character that best suits your personal playstyle. At the start, the selection screen randomly places you with two teammates, so you better hope that you're the first or that nobody picks Wraith before you. Additionally, the Apex Legends Battle Royale offers World's Edge as a primary map for Season 1, so let's wrap up this section here and move on to talk about the 3v3 arena. In arenas, there are two teams of three who fight to the finish in an action-packed 3v3 round-based elimination combat. It offers short and sweet matches so you don't have to fully commit to a battle royale session, but here you will need to change up your stats a little bit. You have to pick your loadout and sharpen your skills on bespoke maps. The mode puts you in a team deathmatch where squad mates can be revived but cannot fully respawn if they die. At launch, there will be three playable maps, including Thermal Station, Artillery, and Overflow where you will fight in arena modes. Third is Team Deathmatch. Reloading. The concept of the TDM mode in Apex Legends Mobile is similar to any other TDM mode, which is kill to win. Camping doesn't work here, so that is out of the equation. The 6v6 TDM mode consists of five unique maps, Skull Town, Market, Overflow, Artillery, and Thermal Station. All these maps are rotated every 10 minutes to ensure that players get to experience every map and get used to all of them equally. You have to make sure that you're together and don't rush alone as that would give the enemy team a golden opportunity to pick up a point easily. Players fight to rack up kills against the other teams with fast respawns. Once killed, you will respawn at random points near your teammates. Also, you can pick up the airdrop for legendary weapons, and whoever reaches 30 kills first wins the match. Now let's get to the legends. Currently, there are 9 legends. Bangalore, Bloodhound, Caustic, Gibraltar, Lifeline, Mirage, Octane, Pathfinder, Wraith, and the brand new mobile exclusive legend, Fade. Each legend has different abilities and an ultimate. Plus, the things you can customize are awesome. Banners, poses, gun skins, character skins, and the way you finish people off. It's dope. Now, let's talk about that mobile exclusive legend, Fade. He is a high-tech super soldier from Solus who rewards aggressive play with his powerful phase shift ability and ultimate to lock down his enemies. In addition, Fade possesses three abilities. The first is Slipstream. When Fade slides, his suit gives him a burst of speed. And second is Flashback. Fade's suit rips him backwards through another dimension, phasing him to his previous location about 60 meters back. And the last, ultimate ability, Phase Chamber. 
FaZe throws an Activator Core, and the resulting explosion phases everyone in its radius for a few seconds, making them unable to deal or receive damage. Graphics I know what you're all wanting to know, and yes, this game works surprisingly well on low-end devices. Even with low graphics, the game looks really beautiful, and if you play Apex Legends at max graphics settings, then you'll see the graphics of this game are far better than the vast majority of mobile games. I have to say, EA really came through for us this time. The game offers different graphics quality options like Smooth, Normal, Ultra HD, Extreme HD, and even Original for max graphics quality. And if you use high frame rate settings with recommended graphics settings, then you'll get a smooth performance with beautiful visuals. Battle Pass Similar to Battle Pass in Apex Legends, the mobile primetime Battle Pass launches on May 17th and features 110 levels, 4 legendary skins, and the big prize at the end, which is a mythic Pathfinder skin. The Battle Pass also has both a free path and a premium plus and has lots of loot boxes, events to get legendary skins, and other cosmetic items. The game also has a robust and smooth movement system that lets players scale over walls and effortlessly vault through obstacles. You can also take advantage of the sliding mechanic to throw off your opponent's aim or quickly traverse downhill. Apex Legends Mobile even allows players to customize the control schematics to an astounding degree. Therefore, comfort and hand positioning is purely up to you. Simply set the positioning, sizing, and opacity to your own taste. Even the graphics and frame rates are incredibly customizable. Progression So many mobile games lately are receiving criticism for the lack of fair playing ground. Essentially, some have pay-to-win systems, while others require excessive grinding and leveling to keep up with PvP. Which begs the question, is Apex Legends Mobile pay-to-win? If it were, that would be a huge downside, but thankfully, the game is not pay to win whatsoever. The game is actually all skill, requiring fast thinking and mechanical prowess to emerge victorious. All the legends are available by just playing the game. Whether it's leveling the player profile, completing free battle pass missions, or even logging on daily, Apex Legends Mobile is very generous in providing playable characters. Guns, another. The guns are pretty straightforward. You got your SMGs, assault rifles, LMGs, snipers, shotguns, and pistols, and my secret weapon, my fists. You'll find attachments like sights, stabilizers, stocks, scopes, and extended mags. The ammo types are all color coordinated for ease of use for noobs, and the level of rarity of each item and attachment is also color coordinated. The game will also automatically replace your weaker version of an item or attachment with its stronger one. There are also different types of grenades and healing items that are pretty straightforward, and there are also shields that are essentially extra health, but unlike health, it can only be replenished with shield cells and batteries. The shield is a really cool mechanic that I really enjoyed in this game. It makes it harder for you to be killed when you're down, so you don't immediately die but you can just finish people off with this dope finishing move that surpasses the shield. Verdict Apex Legends Mobile is a refreshing change to the battle royale genre as it puts heavy emphasis on movement and gunplay and the fact that you can slide down hills or use zip lines. It's like the cherry on top. Plus, there's no fall damage and the game is free. Don't get me wrong, there are microtransactions, but everything can also be earned with enough playtime. If you press me for a rating on this game from 1 to 10, it would easily be a 9 because of its gameplay experience, uniqueness, and graphics. So whether you're new to the battle royale genre or already a big fan of Apex Legends on the PC, trying out its mobile version definitely makes for a solid few hours of fun every day. Apex Legends will be dropping on mobile on May 17th and will be available on both iOS and Android. So set your calendar, download the game, and come play with me and your friends from anywhere.